And welcome back. You know, every week we get a new story about the history of Springfield from our good friend John Sellers, who's the executive director of the History Museum on the Square. Yeah, I love that guy. And today he's going to share a little bit of the history about a cemetery here in Springfield at Seminole and Glenstone. Oh, and before we share this with you, we want to remind you to go and spend some time at the History Museum on the Square. There is so much to see and learn. Yeah, that's another jewel in our crown for sure. You definitely need to check that out. For more information on the museum, go to historymuseumonthesquare.org. Now here's John Sellers with today's Slice of History. Hi, I'm John Sellers, Executive Director of the History Museum on the Square. Today I've got a little bit of history to tell you about right after the end of the Civil War, 152 years ago. The city of Springfield was growing at a rapid pace after the Civil War. It had been a center for the Union Supply Depot and so on during the war. It's seen a great influx of people. The railroad was on its way, and there was a lot of new growth. One of the things impeding that growth, however, was there were cemeteries dotted in areas that were premium land that the city grew and expanded that uh, would be taken up or hindered by the uh, by these cemeteries. So the city of Springfield decided that they would go on the hunt for some land outside the city well away from the city where they could build a city cemetery and move all these small family graveyards and the one city graveyard that was on the corner of, of Campbell and Mount Vernon and move those out to this new uh, cemetery. Almost immediately, they found 80 acres, a huge amount of land, two and a half miles southeast of the city and purchased it for $3,000. And so begins the development of a complex of cemeteries including Hazelwood, National Cemetery, the Jewish Cemetery, a cemetery for African Americans, because in that time they were still segregated, and a cemetery for Confederate war dead. All of these were bought out of, parceled out of this 80 acres. And in June of 1868, a huge procession uh, led of 65 wagons, 20 carriages, 500 riders on horseback, and 150 people on foot, over a mile long caravan, left the city and went to this new national cemetery for a dedication of that uh, ground and listened to speeches by people like Sempronius Boyd, who had fought in the war and was a famous uh, uh, lawyer and, and a, a promoter of the city of Springfield and others. And that 13 acres became National Cemetery. And over the course of time, many of uh, famous people have been buried there. People all heroes. But it all happened from 80 acres purchased by the city of Springfield to make a cemetery two and a half miles southeast of town, which is now at the corner of Seminole and Glenstone. Y'all have a great week. Hope you have, uh, have a good one. I'll see you next week.